Next up is an Echo uh, PB250 blower. Got this from a friend who just was cleaning out the garage. Doesn't work. They don't want to fool it. Says so here, I don't know what's wrong. Well, one thing, the throttle doesn't move the carburetor. So either it's broken or uh, something. But that's a start. It, beyond that, it does feel like it has compression. We'll have to check for spark, but obviously we have to figure out why you have no carburetor control. All right, let's dig into it. Carburetor stuff is put together backwards, and the linkage is missing. That's about it. So, <laughs> chokes on. I did. Um, oh, oh. Why are we blasting fuel out of the vent already? I didn't do anything. <laughs> That's funny. Well, the primer is functioning. Uh, we'll see what happens. We know the kill switch works now. Uh, let's just find out. Oh, it is. Where is it pouring fuel from? I think it's the overflow Delingus. I don't know, though. Be my luck that the tank is cracked. Let's just get it started running, I guess. Give it some throttle. Nope. Give it all the throttle. Give it none of the throttle. All the chokes. choke was already off dummy I gotta figure out okay high is the back screw ah. Carburetor. I just tried it. 
<clears throat> and the tank leaked when I got done. But it wasn't the tank, it's that little fella. So I got on the old Amazons and for $6 ordered the bung and the kit. This wasn't on here. That was on here. I just switched the tubes and stuck the old tube in here just because to store. Anyway, this one that claimed it was the right one was not the right diameter. And that rubber bung is obviously worn, but it doesn't leak. It just cracked at the top and whatnot. So I'm not gonna worry about that. The vent did solve the problem. I could get it to run as good as it did in the video. Shook the hell out of it. No leaks anywhere. So that's all fixed, but I couldn't ever tune it right. So I got to looking. I want to take the carbon, clean it, and see. Well, there's really nothing in there. I haven't sprayed it off yet. I'm gonna. But lucky, lucky. You see? There's no hole. See that little hole? Whew. That little hole? That put the line up with that hole right there. Uh, so that I don't know exactly what it does, but I do know when you look the carb kit up online, it shows that gasket with a hole. So I suspect the reason you can't get any difference between the high speed and low speed, speed screw here and kind of halfway make this run. Somebody was in here and monkey with it, replaced the carb, which explains why the linkage wasn't hooked up. They must not have been able to figure out how that went. So I, I'm guessing, of course, but I think that's it. I'm going to check through my stash of uh, gaskets and see if I have one. And uh, hopefully I do. If not, I guess a guy could drill a hole because why not? Let me see. Denied. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to poke a hole. See what happens. Well, what else? This is the way it goes on the motor. Like that. Uh, and you can see the hole, the impression of the hole. If you look, well, bolt very carefully. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and poke that hole. And if it's wrong, I can always flip it this way. The whole won't line up with anything, but it'll still seal as a gasket. So that's the plan. But you don't have to worry about the fact that it's a square, crummy hole. Just mm, let's see if it works. That's how the joke works, in case anybody wanted to know. It's back together. See what happens. So it's tuned again. Uh, it's pretty good. I got a like quarter turn on the uh, idle adjust. It's not quite right. My point is, I don't honestly know if I did anything with cutting that hole, if that's supposed to be there. But seeing as how the engine side had it, and the carb had it, and it does feed to where the fuel is in the carb, it leads me to believe that, yeah, it was supposed to have been there. However, it's an old carb, although the diaphragm seemed clean and, and uh, flexible, it still doesn't seem to run quite right. It's, uh, it's tuned, but it's hard to get it on the edge of where it's four cycling, if you know what I mean, versus two-stroking two at full power. Uh, at full throttle, it's, it's fine, but it, it seems like at uh, low throttle, these don't do what they're supposed to do. Low speed screw is supposed to be the response time. When you squeeze the trigger, the ramps right up. It doesn't bog down. That's what that's for, kind of. And the high speed is, you know, at full throttle, wide open. You get it set to where it's just sucking the right amount of air and fuel together. So it's just barely two cycling. That's past the four cycle, chugging along. That's how you get the maximum power with the right amount of fuel and it's the most efficient that it can be. And it also does, you know, its job the best. So who knows? Maybe you could stand for a new carb. I'm gonna give that one crank and it will certainly function just like it is and it doesn't leak anywhere. So 
I'm calling it a uh, winner, but I will admit, I don't know if that hole in that gasket made any difference whatsoever because it seems to be just as tunable slash untunable as it was before. It does not behave like a normal carburetor low and high speed should, but I don't know that I've ever messed with this particular model of carburetor. So anywho, thanks for watching.